Managing Global Transformation. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 278. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 278, July 22nd, 2018 edition. Today what I'd like to talk about, and this is the third part in a three-part series, I want to talk about managing global transformation. Last week we talked about long-term sustainable solutions for media challenges. The week before that we talked about creating a world that works for everybody. I've been wearing my I Love You shirts uh, as part of this three-part series. Yes, they were the inspiration for the three-part series because I have three of the shirts. And so today I want to talk about managing global transformation because really, you know, if we've created long-term sustainable solutions for media challenges and we're creating a world that works for everybody, to do that we have to manage global transformation. And how do you do that? Like how do you manage global transformation? Well, the answer is you don't. You don't. It's not something that you go out and you say, hey, you have to change the world and make it a better place. You have to do this. It doesn't work that way. That's not our philosophy. Our highest good philosophy is non-dogmatic, non-ideological. It's it inherently, by nature, by definition, to be for the highest good of all, it can't force itself upon other people. And so our model is designed to invite people to participate. It's designed to demonstrate a new paradigm that makes the old paradigm obsolete. Uh, to design, it's, it's designed to demonstrate a better way of living, a way that we think most people consider to be better than the way they're living now, and to make it open source and free shared so that anybody that wants to can participate. And in so doing, we're managing global transformation by creating a self-replicating model for world change, a solution model designed to create additional solution-creating models in the support of all life on this planet. Why? Because I love you. Because I love everything on this planet. I don't like seeing species go extinct. I want everybody to be fed. I want everyone to have a house. And I think most people want that. Most people don't like to see people suffering all over the world. Most people are not in support of war and destruction. Most people are not in support of poverty. Most people would like to see these things address, and so managing global transformation from our perspective is, by ta- is, is accomplished through open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world to address these challenges, to take the resources where they're needed most, to address whatever it is that people are suffering most from. Maybe they want higher quality food. Maybe they need higher quality air. Maybe they want higher quality housing. Maybe they want housing that's going to last longer. Maybe they want housing that's going to survive natural disasters. Maybe they want housing and a lifestyle that's more affordable. Maybe they want better education. Maybe they want a more fulfilled living lifestyle and environment where they feel like they've got more time to do the things that they want to do and more things to do with that time within walking distance. Maybe they want to reduce their carbon footprint. Maybe they want to get off of fossil fuels. Maybe they want better education for their, their their kids, maybe they want better education for themselves. All of these things are built into the one community model. And in so doing, we're creating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, sustainable versions of food, energy, and housing. Uses those to reduce the overhead of life itself to create self-sufficiency and self-sustainability. And we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living models and practices, which we call highest good society, uh, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. And putting these things together into a comprehensive living model and building one community as a place that people can come and visit, people can come and experience, people can come and see it, and any aspect of that environment that they like. They can replicate it. Maybe it's a natural pool. Maybe it's a garden. Maybe it is uh, uh, an improvement in their lighting quality because we've created an open source tutorial for lead lighting, uh, lead being the sustainability uh, oversight organization in the United States for achieving lead platinum, the highest ranking for sustainability uh, certification. Maybe that, maybe it's that. Maybe they want to access the open source education model and start a community education program and improve the education of their kids. Maybe they want to implement the fulfilled living model just in their, in their current environment. Or maybe they want to take the entire package, everything that, is that we're creating and free sharing and open sourcing, and they want to create a teacher demonstration community village city or hub too.
That's our ultimate goal. Invite people to come and experience what one community is and manage global transformation by infecting people with the idea that you can live a better life, that you can eat higher quality food, that you can drink clean water, breathe clean air, have better education, have a better social environment, to be able to spend more time with your friends and family. These things are possible. And so we're here to demonstrate it. Don't take our word for it. We want to demonstrate it so people can come and experience it. And so the idea would be like going to Club Med or going on a cruise and suddenly realizing that, wow, it's pretty cool to have all this food and all these activities available to me just right there, easily accessible. I would like to live this way. And so if I'm willing to cooperate, collaborate, and participate and contribute to that environment, then I can create that environment for myself, my family, my friends to live in and experience all the time. Leveling up our way of life, improving our quality of life, reducing our carbon footprint, uh, creating a sustainable life, and sharing that with anybody that would like to have access to it. And so this is what we're doing. We're an all-volunteer, nonprofit organization, 100% unpaid team, including myself. We're doing this because we want to live this way. We're doing this because we see a world that works for everybody as possible within our lifetime. And I talked about how that's possible in the last video. So this is what we're up to. This is how we're making uh, global transformation something that is manageable by not managing it. We're managing global transformation by creating a self-replicating model that is better than, that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And we're gonna let that model self-replicate. We're gonna open source and free share. We're gonna make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough so the idea will spread on its own and create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. That's what we're up to. So with all that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of managing global transformation without managing it, by creating a new paradigm that makes the old one obsolete and setting our, our civilization on a trajectory and a course to global sustainability that will benefit all people and all life on this planet and achieving that within our lifetime. Here's one week of our progress and accomplishments. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team created and added to the site this new Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential housing perspective image. The core team working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, also completed another round of edit requests and updates and added Michael's latest approved and finalized images to the Shipping Container Village, Recycled Materials Village, Treehouse Village, and Duplical City Center open source hubs. You can see some of this work here. Michael additionally integrated another round of suggestions and edits into all the pages shown here. These, like the previous images, are all from the seven villages book we're developing. We'd say we're now about 85% complete with it. Hemant Kodaru, structural engineer, completed his 17th week helping with the structural engineering research and calculations for the Earthbag Village Pod 1. This week's focus was nail embedment calculations and research on cement mortar and polyprene bag bond strength. Also, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 16th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed Instructions. This week, Shadi redrew and replaced parts 18 and 19, redid the main section and element section with consideration to the order of pieces used in assembly, added screw info icons throughout, and began setting up the extra elements on the cutting pages. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates also. Here's update 123 of Dean's work that produced the second generation test render of the dining area looking south. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued rebuilding and testing the city center geodesic dome parts in 3D. This week, we continued the shell structure process from the bottom up, finishing rows 2, 3, and 4, as shown here. And the core team created this initial setup of the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Design Open Source Hub. The core team working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 86th week volunteering on this task, 
and the focus this week was finalizing the social dome hallway lighting tests and these basement lighting tests, all of which you can see now on the website also. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was discussing and updating the spreadsheet tabs for snow calculation and beam design, researching how to apply wind loads on the cupola roof according to ASCE 7-10, and starting to develop the related spreadsheet for these calculations. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, completed his 25th week helping with the HVAC designs for the Duplical City Center. This week's focus was adding the Creating a Zones Only AutoCAD layout for the complete HVAC systems, researching and choosing the make and model for our three ERVs, and writing an FAQ description for why we don't have any fans in the living dome bathrooms. And Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 14th week helping with the Duplical City Center materials and costs. This week's focus was researching lead materials for the dome cladding, doors and windows, updating related cost details, and began cost analysis for the natural pool. Last but not least, Dawa Feng, civil engineer, completed his 12th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week, he checked for valid working pressure for the cupola zone N, added an additional system for the horizontal spray pipes in the social dome, and modified the AutoCAD file to use only 45 and 90 degree fittings. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we rearranged the Google Doc and added more information from the LDS Prepper videos we've been reviewing. We also continued researching the Stout method by watching three videos and integrating the relevant information covering details like the importance of using organic hay or grass and cutting it before it goes to seed. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the CORN team researched and added a diversity of resources from Dr. Becky Bailey's Conscious Discipline YouTube channel to the related pages of the Highest Good Education component. You can see some of these additions here. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a Highest Good Network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of managing global transformation uh, without managing it, by creating a new paradigm that makes the old one obsolete uh, because it's better, because people will naturally gravitate towards it if it's better. And so that is our goal, to demonstrate a better way and to open source and free share it and invite anybody who wants to participate to do so. And anybody who doesn't want to participate, that's fine too. Or anybody that sees it and says, wow, we could do that better, great. Take what it is that we're creating, evolve it. It's all under a Creative Commons license. You can read all about that on our website. We're here to share. We're here to create global transformation within our lifetime, and you're invited to participate. Uh, that said, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our newsletter list. Also, if you'd like to see uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything we talked about in this video, past videos, everything we're creating, visit our website, visit our written blog. Uh, there's a written summary of everything that's in this video as well. So you can see that on our blog. And of course, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page or the easiest way to help us out is just to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to share our information, to like our information on any of the social media networks that we're on. And we're on pretty much all of them. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Tumblr, we're on Reddit, we're on uh, Instagram, we're on Pinterest, and about 15 other social media networks, all the popular social media networks are on there to make it as easy as possible to share information, to access our information, and to uh, help us spread the word or to support us just by liking or posting a comment on the things that we're posting. All that stuff makes a difference. And of course, if you're just somebody who's watched the end or if you're somebody who's donated to us, uh, thank you for that. It makes a big difference. Like I 
I said, we're 100% unpaid, all volunteer staff. So 100% of donations go to forwarding our mission helping us create more open source tools, tutorials, and resources. It's mainly web, web expenses and things like that is our primary expense. You know, security uh, details for our website, that kind of stuff, constant upgrades, trying to upgrade our servers so that everything runs faster and smoother. All that stuff costs money. And so if you're somebody who's donated, uh, know that all the work that's being done is free and unpaid by volunteers like myself, but those donations help to cover our actual expenses. Uh, so thanks if you're somebody who's contributed to that. And of course, as I say at the end of every one of these, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.